in a wind machine with a creepy mattress and a treadmill. We're in the basement. We're riding the bike. My foot is not better. I can feel a small twinge like in my heel when I walk. It just still stings a little bit. And it really makes me contemplate how I'm gonna get through 26 miles. But right now my brain's not like, how am I gonna get through 26 miles? It's, I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna get through it. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get through it. I had a dream last night about it and that like the race, they didn't make the right courses. So they were having like buses drive us back and forth because they didn't, people were getting lost. And I was like, man, this marathon's easy in my dream because we didn't run that much. And I remember in my dream, runners, this is a big deal. I didn't have my headphones or my glasses or socks. And I was like freaking out. But I remember my dream just being like, I'm going to run it. We'll figure it out. So hopefully that's things that are come to pass that are going to happen. Um, as in, I don't care and I'm just going to run it and feel good. We are riding away on the bike to keep the legs in shape. And this gives me the wind effect, but it also makes me winded. So I'm trying to ride for 40 minutes today, keep my muscles engaged, keep them active, keep the blood flowing, and take resistance off the foot because it is still hurting. And then afterwards, we're going to roll it out with an ice water bottle and tape it and just try to hang in there, you guys. Sometimes you gotta hang in there. Here's step two of the morning. I roll out the foot on the water bottle and hope that it's gonna get somewhere and do something. It's so frustrating because, oh, my calf was cramping up. You can't see any swelling and there's no like inflammation. It's just, that was my ankle that just popped. It's just like, Oh, pain through here in my toe and down and through here. Are you guys so sick of hearing me talk about my foot? I turn on the fire, sit by the fire so I can get hot while I roll out my foot with the water bottle because it's freezing to do that. And I drink my cup of water. If you guys are wanting to get a healthier life and a happier life, you've got to start taking in your water. And I noticed that it helps me drink water more consistently through the day. One of the first thing I do in the morning is have a cup of water. Um, my iron might be low lately. I don't know if it's because I've been losing some weight with running, but I'm back at chewing ice. Ooh, I love it. And I'm like craving it. Like my teeth crave it. You know when you have an itch on your foot and you just can't wait to itch it? That's how my teeth feel with eating ice. Like they can't wait to eat the ice. And my dentist hasn't yelled at me yet, but probably not the super healthiest habit. Um, today we are leaving for New York. Yay! Lots to do. I need to um, pack for Cooper and I and get our laundry done, get our Halloween stuff in order, and um, yeah, packing is a lot. We're going to pick up my grandma tonight, stay in Salt Lake. It's going to be a fun family trip. I had the craziest dream. I told you guys about the marathon and I can't stop thinking about it. Um, what else was I going to take? Oh, I'm going to go get my nails done today. Um, I want them to match my running pants because if anything I'm in pain, I'm going to look down at my nails and get a good vibe going. So I'm going to finish rolling out the foot. Um, I don't know if I should switch my inserts in my feet. I'm feeling like my bones are just over the pounding and the mileage. So maybe I just need some really good like cushion gel inserts. My um, podiatrist gave me a insert for my shoe that's an orthotic, but it's very firm. And so I don't know if I, if that's what my foot is needing. And I want to trust my doctor, but sometimes you just know when you know your body and my foot is still hurting quite bad. So I'm thinking if I create a softer surface, a more comfortable surface for my foot to be, you know, running on, then maybe it won't hurt a spot. I don't know. Wish me luck. You guys are coming with me on this adventure today. Sometimes we just gotta, we just gotta have some wrap in the day, some T-Pain. Um, you know it's gonna be a good day when your kiddo calls you and they're like, Mom, will you bring my Wes Welker jersey to school? It's jersey day. I'm like, yeah. Um, I guess Cooper, Cooper's with his dad um, today, but I'm picking him up tonight for New York, but he needed his jersey, so I'm excited I get to come see his little face and give him a football jersey. Yeah, Broncos. 
I walked in and he literally walked around the corner. What were you doing? That's cool. I know, but what were you doing when I walked in? Running and taking the lunch boxes down. Were you being a helper? The other. Were you being a helper? Is that yeah. what you were doing? Here, so now that, let's put your jersey on. I didn't know it was jersey there. I would have brought that for you. Are you excited now? At least you got a Nike shirt on, huh? I'm excited to go to New York. You are? We're going tonight. You excited, excited? Yep. Do we need to get you a Halloween costume or do you have one? Hey, focus, child. Walker. Bye. Hi. You're cute. Hi. I love you. Okay, be a good boy at school, okay? Okay. Make good choices. But don't flirt with the girls. <laughs> Oh, bless his heart. So I asked him to do like leopard, pink and black leopard because that may be my running pants for the marathon. And he may have done zebra. And I felt too bad to tell him. He's like, do you like it? And I was like, yes, because I felt so bad being like, it looks like a zebra. So it's kind of fun and kind of wild. Just going to channel my inner um, animal. You guys always ask me what color these are. They're always a number and every salon is different, but it's just like a pink. This was number nine. The C and D. I'm so cold. It is like freezing out here. So my hands are like grandmother's blah, right now. Um, and then I just got pink on my toenails. But if you guys don't get gels or shellacs, you totally should. I have done it for years, except for don't pick because I've noticed if you pick, you're going to peel the enamel off of your nail and it's no good. Um, so I'm going to go run a couple more errands before we head out, pick some things up and get Cooper and I packed up. And then we're headed to Utah to pick up my grandma. Grandma, you ready to go? We're gonna go run a marathon and die. Okay, so I've got desperate. I'm thinking that I'm just gonna buy one of every one of these and then decide. I don't know what to do. Okay, after, look at this hair. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Um, You guys, I just painted over the nail. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I'll have to show you the pants and then you'll see why. Um. You guys, remember, okay, I don't know if you remember this, but a lot of you, some of you, a little bit of you, tweeted me a picture of a mom and a little boy holding hands, and the mom's shirt said Mama Bear, and the little boy that was holding the mom's hand was looking up at his mom and it said Man Cub. Well, guess what? The lady who makes those shirts, that company, contacted me, and she sent me some clothing today. Um, she was out of the original sweaters that they have made just because they're so popular. So she said, I'll send you these in the meantime. But look how darling they are. Um, so I'm gonna style this tank top and then Cooper's gonna wear the man cup. Hold on, let me flip my camera, hold on. Okay, how darling is this? Cutest tank top, mama bear, and then the man cup t-shirt. And she also sent me this purple one, the mama bear um, long sleeve. If you guys wanna check her out on her Instagram, um, it is loved by Hannah Hendley. Is that, I believe that's how you say it, but here's what it looks like. Loved by Hannah Hanley. Hanley, I believe is what it is. And she has the cutest stuff ever. But I'm so excited because so many people sent me that idea of doing a photo with Cooper wearing a man cup shirt and me and the mama bear. So I'm so excited that I finally have that stuff and I can pack it for New York. Um, okay, what else did we get today, you guys? I went to pick out like one hat because I feel like New York is very much hats and scarves and cool coats right now just because it's getting chillier. So, chillier, more chilly, is that a word? I got this little beauty. How cute is this, right? It's navy blue. I haven't seen any navy blue um, hats, but this one is navy blue. And then I also may have gotten a black one. Just on those days you don't wanna wash your hair and you just need a cute hat. Um, I think they're so fun and yeah, I'm excited to wear them. Um, but I got them at the Paper Doll in Pocatello. I've done some stuff for them. Um, it's a local brand. I love supporting them, the Paper Doll, just because they're two sisters who had a dream of, you know, have, having a clothing company and they have hit the ground running. And they do a cool thing where they you can bring in old, old clothing or clothing you don't wear anymore and they can buy they can buy it back from you for store credit or give you cash. Um, but yeah, I got some darling stuff from there today. So I actually bought those two hats. And then I got this cool beanie, just wearing chucks and maybe like a cool leather jacket. How fun is that? It's gonna be fun to style. Um, I don't know why I've been loving hats lately. Look at this one. How cute is that? Super excited about that. This, I guess this vlog could be like a mini haul. Um, and then just because we're going to New York, it seems very fitting that you would get a shirt that says New York. So um, you guys will be probably seeing a style post outfit, but look at this cool top. Um, it's striped and it says NY, New York, and then it has um, this the cute V-line neck. 
V-line, V-line, that's right. Is that how you say it? V-line? A V-lined neck. For some reason, that sounds weird. Anyways, I love stripes. I'm addicted to them. Look super comfortable. Be great with leggings and one of those fun hats. And then I thought it'd be cute to style that mama bear or mama, yeah, mama bear shirt with these cool pants. And they're kind of like the MC Hammer. They're like, go out a little bit on the hips and then they're tighter on your ankles with like that blue hat and maybe a cool jacket. Be super darling. And then... And then, you guys, I got one more thing. And everything is very reasonable. Like, all these things were like $15.99, $16.99. Look at this pretty sweater. How fun will that be for the holidays? With the details on the shoulder. Oh, my gosh. With some jeans or with a skirt. You can't go wrong there. And then we got a cool necklace just for any of those plain, plain Jane days where you just need a cute necklace to dress it up. That's darling. How, how darling is that? So you guys check out the paper doll and check out Loved by Hannah Hanley. I'm super excited for those posts to come. So yeah, I guess today was a mini, a mini haul for you guys and your cute butts. Um, but yeah, check out the paper doll and I love you.